Hey there, history folks. I, I just coming here a little bit closer. I want to talk to you for a bit. Um, I hear tell all this time these um, folks talking about the, uh, the about the war, uh, about this civil war, and, and I got to tell you, there just wasn't a damn thing civil about it. All right, it, it's a war. And I got to tell you, uh, um, being as I, I'm a southern boy, that it uh, down here we don't call it a civil war because that's just horseshit. Uh, we call it the war of, of northern aggression because that's what it was. They just rose up and they attacked us and all we wanted to do was just live our own lives. And they wouldn't let us do that. They, they said, you know what? Uh, we are, are going to go ahead and take your slaves, and we're going to tell you what to do, and they're going to saddle us up with all sorts of uh, taxes, and these taxes are, are, are just tearing up our, our businesses and our population and stuff like that, and we just can't hardly make it by. <clears throat> and these big old companies up north are just telling us what we're going to do and what they're going to do, and all they want to do is just take, 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 and by God... We fought the American Revolution to to have rights and to throw off the great oppressor, and, and well, we're just not going to stand by and, and let them go ahead and, and oppress us again. And and so when that Abraham Lincoln, that 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 Northern Yahoo, uh, he he got elected, and and he's going to take all our slaves because they told us that. Then well, we just went ahead and packed up our stuff and left. That, that we're going to take our cotton and we're going to take our tobacco and we're just going to go ahead and have our own little say so. And I'll tell you what, I keep on here and then talking about this war, and, and I got to tell you, I, I, I was there. Um, you know, they, they called the Battle of Manassas. Uh, um, I got to tell you, they they, they they don't know. I mean, it's the Battle of Bull Run, the Battle of Manassas, depending on who you talk to. All I know is this, is that we decided that we was going to fight. And we know that we're right. And so what we did is some of the boys and I got together and we went down and we volunteered. And we got there behind uh, Jeb Stewart. You know, and we got there behind uh, General Lee, and he told us what to do and what was going to happen. And we, we got behind that good old Stonewall Jackson fella. And they told us that we were winners. They told us we was going to fight. They told us that, that the North was coming down to take our stuff, and we just wasn't going to let them. And they told us, well, listen, they got guns, but y'all got guns, too. And the thing is, these northern boys, they don't know, hardly know which direction to point the guns. And the fact is that not only do we know which direction to point them, we know how to shoot. That, that we don't shoot for fun. We don't shoot for practice. We shoot because we hunt and we fish and we survive. And this is the way we make our living. And we will teach these northern boys a lesson. And... I'll be surprised if it's not over in just, you know, maybe a week. We're just going to go up there. We're going to kick some butt. And I remember we were there that first day. And those northern boys showed up in their pretty uniforms. And they showed up with their nice new guns and fancy hats. And, well, the boys and I, we... We didn't have an opportunity to put together no fancy uniform. We just went ahead and wore our shirts and our overhauls, and we, we got our, our guns, and I bought my squirrel gun, and they said, you know what, just go ahead and shoot at him, and so we did. And the thing is, is we were doing all right, and then, you know, the general said, listen, y'all are awful quiet. You know, you need to go ahead and, and raise some hell, and I'll, you know what, the boys and I, we, we got together, and, and we just decided to cut loose. And once the general told us that, that we had them on the run, that we can go ahead and charge, that, that we should scream at them like the devil. And so we did. When the boys and I jumped up, because um, we, we were hiding behind some trees and some fences and stuff, and so we just jumped up, and we cut loose and said, Yeah! And we chased those boys square over the hill and through the dale. I mean, they were running scared. It was funnier than hell. And they just kept on running, and they ran all the way back to town. 
Now, I wish you, I, I could tell you that was it because we had them on the run and we kept them on the run. And they came after us a few more times in a couple other different areas. You know, but the fact is that we had all the good generals. Okay, we had the tactics and we were defending our home ground. As long as we were defending home ground, we were fine. You know, that we could hold them off. But the problem is, is we weren't fighting just the north. I mean, they, they had those big city ports up there. And so they're always bringing in new people. And they're always bringing in to some of them immigrants for, from other places. And, and it seemed like no matter how many we killed off, how many of them boys we wounded, you know, there was always more of them. And the fact is, there wasn't as many of, of us. And unfortunately, we didn't have all the rich uh, factory fellows that they got that, that are going to make the fancy guns and the fancy uniforms and stuff like that. So, you know, it wasn't too long into the war before we started to, you know, run short of supplies and run short of some people. And, uh, of course, you know, we had the ladies helping us on the whole front. And we had the slaves back home doing the gardening and doing the fielding and stuff like that. But we just didn't have all the opportunities they have. So no matter how we got together, it just seemed like they were pushing and pushing and pushing. And, you know, once or twice, you know, General Lee, you know, he, he talked to Jeb. And, and the general said, you know, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and push up towards their capital. They're always trying to attack Richmond. What we need to do is we need to go up and attack Washington, D.C. We need to make our way up through uh, Pennsylvania and make it, they're fighting on their ground. And then maybe once they feel threatened, maybe once we can and win, well, what we can do is once we can win a battle or two on their ground, maybe we can make them make peace with us. Maybe then we can get the British involved. Maybe then we can get the, the French involved. Maybe then... That, that King Cotton strategy we got will go ahead and work out. But I don't know. I, I remember the, the old days that, that, you know, we were fighting. But fact is, you know, if it was just us in the North, we would have won. But, you know, it ended up being us in the North. And it seems like the rest of the world were fighting against us. So it, it kind of ended up being, unfortunately, a losing battle.